is the hill behind me a Viking or Iron Age burial mound? Today, the true Viking investigation team will find out. Is the Viking chieftain buried behind me? Let's see what the fortune cookies tells us. Your many hidden talents will become obvious to those around you. Hmm, suspicious. Could be. We have a hidden talent for finding Viking. Exactly. The reason why this is a strong potential site is that on all those islands in the background there are burial mound. Burial mound, burial mound, burial mound, burial mound. Our archaeological map says that nothing has ever been found on this one. But did the archaeologist miss something? A thousand years ago the shoreline was somewhere here actually. So the Vikings could have come with their boats over here, jumped to the ground, to the shore and then headed for... I, I see a Viking ship Jack. sailing in here, burying their chief then up there. But uh, when we had our first snacks here, we did discover a very peculiar looking stone heap. That could be a burial mound or then the farmers have thrown their rocks to the side of the field. But we will soon find out. One way to find out. Only one, one way. way. Only. Today is a good day to Tomorrow there's no time to borrow Today, well something's gotta give Today is a good day today It's a good day today It's a good day Do you have there, Emil? I had a gigantic signal right here next to the rocks. And I think I even dinged my massive lead object with the shovel. Sorry about that, but it's huge. It weighs a ton. Looks like a lead bar. And I know that lead was used since the Roman times for anything and everything. Impossible to tell the age of this, but potentially Viking. It's a very good start. I'm excited. I'm excited. It is. First find right here. It couldn't start better. Potentially Roman. Sorry. Potentially <laughs> Viking lead. Right here on top of the pile of rocks I found this massive metallic object. I think this is slag from smelting iron. So I'm thinking this could be a smeltery where they would make iron. Back in the days they would extract peat, iron or bog ore from swamps here and roast it and then put everything in uh, smelting places like this and try to form crude iron from which they made swords and knives and stuff. This thing is heavy as a cannonball but it's not a cannonball, a round shot. It contains these uh, holes, lumps, where gases would have been in the melting process. This piece would have been at the bottom of the kiln, it would probably have been that size, and they would have knocked it off with a hammer and tried to hammer down the good iron. And this was obviously not good iron enough for them, so they left it here impossible to give an age without a chemical analysis but they have not done this for centuries so if this is not a burial place at least it's a smithery of some kind place for smelting iron ore lots of iron signals here probably from the smelting process Almost thought it was a sword. My heart took a leap there, but probably from a barrel. 
a wooden barrel, something like that. It's not very old. Do you have anything, y'all? Anything Viking? A lot of iron. Iron is good. They used iron. No, I have a great <laughs> signal. Oh, is it the battle axe? This could be the battle axe guy. I can smell it. This could be actually a I also silver coin or here. something like that. You take that one, I take this one. Let's see. There I see something. That is a coin. What coin is it? Oh, I thought it was silver, but no. Easy penny, I think. Finnish coin, I believe. It's better than my <laughs> shotgun shell, but it, made in England though. It really is. Not Viking, this one, but we're getting closer. Shotgun shell made in England, heavy load. I know that a lot of Vikings raided in England. So we're getting close now, I think. But this one is modern, of course. But the Vikings in England would probably come home here to get buried. I don't know, it's just a theory. I'm going crazy here. It's such a fantastic place. Look what I found. First, I thought it would have been a piece of a horseshoe buckle, but no, it's an ice spike from a horseshoe. That means that the chieftain could have been buried here with the horse in the winter times. There's a lot of winter in Finland. There's a lot. And the winter is long and dark. I'm digging right next to the big rocky outcrop and that's exactly the place I would want to get buried myself. Sadly, not many signals, but I found this very deep, big, rusty piece of iron could be from a big cooking pot for the chieftain to take to the afterlife. And also, the soil here, very, very black. And as we learned in Denmark a couple years ago with Joel, black soil might mean that there's a lot of ash and animal bones and phosphorus content. And that's what you would expect in a burial. Burial. Burial, in burial. A funeral pyre burial. Lots of ash, black sand, black mud, black soil. I found some random piece of iron buried under a big rock. What is this? Could it be? some kind of viking object i have not seen this one before a viking object or then some kind of piece from a tractor no idea great spot to be buried here and i found very deep iron random pieces but uh, if someone is buried here i think it would be out of range for my detector there's so much soil on top so much moss vegetation growing in a thousand years, probably that much on top. So hard to find the chief then if he is here. But uh, I'm gonna look a little bit further up the hill and see if he's over there or maybe another guy is buried there. I guess this isn't from a Viking ship at least. My new strategy was to come up here where it's more rocky and it means that over the eons there's only like five centimeters of vegetation on top. I can easily imagine a chieftain's burial pyre here in the setting sun some thousand years ago on this rock. It's beautiful here and I found a rusty nail. It's an okay start. Could have been brought up with the kids that built this thing. Viking kids. We have been detecting all around this small island and we haven't found any signs of Viking activity before us. Or then the chieftain is buried somewhere deep down so we can't find it. But if you like this kind of content, hit that like, hit that subscribe and of course the bell so you don't miss any of our amazing content to come and see you in the next one.